All right, I am here on a rooftop in Roanoke, Virginia, so check out the view. We are here at the sixth floor of the city center market, and there's a koi pond, a restaurant, and the kids and family are out and about. But you're not here for that. We have a separate channel that goes over all the travel stuff. You are here to find out how Medicare works in Virginia, so let's talk about it. Let's start with the Medicare supplement plan side of things. So just so you get an idea, the supplement plan penetration rate nationally is 21%. What that means is that 21% of people who have the option of a supplement plan or advantage plan or something else choose a supplement plan on average. But here in Virginia, you're at 26%. So you are a little bit higher than the national average when it comes to those who are choosing a Medicare supplement plan. We'll get to the Advantage plan side of things as well, but just in general, I'm not making recommendations here. This is just the numbers that we see in Virginia. So this isn't me telling you you should or shouldn't get a supplement plan. It's just what we're seeing here. And that is all supplement plan letters. Now, Virginia is an attained age state. So remember with supplement plans, there are three ways that they can be written. And the first is community rated. Second is issue age and the third is attained age. So the first two, community rated isn't based on your age. A 65 year old is paying the same as a 105 year old. Issue age is like the name suggests, it's based on how old you are when you're issued the supplement plan. And then attained age is based on the age that you have attained. So with the first two, community rated and issue age, you'll see annual increases to account for rising healthcare costs and inflation that insurance companies do, but your rate increases aren't based on you attaining a new age or when your birthday hits, you aren't getting another increase. With an attained age plan, you are. So if you are on Medicare at 67, when you attain a new age at 68, you get a little bump because of your birthday. That's what separates this from the others. It's because of your birthday, you could see another little bump, meaning you could get two increases each year, one for your birthday and one for those rising healthcare costs and inflation. So attained age is what's here in Virginia. Now it might sound like it's all negative with attained age plans, but in reality, they start on average lower than the other two. So attained age starts for a 65 year old lower than an issue age, which is kind of in the middle, and then community rated is generally higher. And we see that here in Virginia. So nationally, if a 65 year old were to go out and try to find a Medicare supplement plan G, the average is $150 per person per month. Here in Virginia, it's $130 per person per month. For plan N, the average is $120 per month. Here in Virginia, it's 110. So you're seeing less than average rates here in Virginia for your supplement plans because of that attained age philosophy. Now, in addition to those already low rates, you can get even lower rates because insurance companies here offer discounts on certain supplement plans and certain insurance companies. And I'll go over a few of them, but this is why we're always talking about use an agent in your state who's licensed and familiar with your state who can find you these discounts discount opportunities. You can go shop online, but knowing the different insurance companies will help you get even lower rates. So the first one to talk about would be something called a household discount. This refers to if you and your spouse, for example, are on the same insurance company for your supplement plan, that insurance company will give you both a discount. It's again called a household discount. Another discount would be called a wearable discount. That's if you're willing to wear a smartwatch, a Fitbit, an iWatch, something like that to sync with the insurance company and they can see that you're active and exercising, they're willing to give you a discount for that. And then the third that we'll talk about here is an annual discount. So if you're willing to pay your premiums all up front for the year, rather than month to month, you can get additional discounts. And there are insurance companies where you can stack these on top of each other. So you can get all three of them working together. So again, reach out to an agent, even if it's not us, use an agent to help you find the plan that suits you. It doesn't ever cost you anything to use an agent. So please use an agent. The last thing to talk about on the supplement plan side before we move to the Advantage plan side is those who are pre-65. So across the country, if you're qualifying for Medicare before you're 65, it means that you're either disabled, you've been diagnosed with ESRD, end-stage renal disease, or ALS, commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease. So if you're getting Medicare this way, in most states, you're not really getting a lot of protection on the supplement plan side. To get a supplement plan, you either cannot because they don't offer them in the state, or they offer limited letters of supplement plans. So for example, plan A only, and or you're gonna be charged a lot more. So for example, in some states, you're looking at five, six, seven times as much as somebody on 65 would be paying for limited plan letters. So here in Virginia, you're kind of a unique state. Plan A is really the one that all insurance companies are offering. So it is a plan A and the rates are very reasonable. In fact, in 2023, the state legislature passed a law where the insurance companies are not allowed to charge excess rates 
for supplement plans, and that went into effect in 2024. So that's being applied right now, which is why Plan A rates are very, very favorable. Now, it's really just Plan A right now that you're looking at pre-65, and the other really important part of this law is that it extends to people who have ESRD. So I mentioned the ways you can get Medicare pre-65, but in a lot of states, even if those supplement plans are available for pre-65, a lot of times they aren't available for those with end-stage renal disease. But here in Virginia, if you do have ESRD, you are able to get that supplement plan A. Now, when you turn 65, you do have that open enrollment period where you can jump on any of the supplement plan letters and you will be paying the same amount as any other 65 year old. So pre-65, you can either pay for plan A or you can get a Medicare Advantage plan. You can go with a regional Medicare only, or if you're on an employer plan, whether through your own employer or a spouse, you can coordinate Medicare there. And then once you reach 65, you have more options open up to you at that point. Now, before I move over to the Advantage plan side of things, again, I have to thank the sponsor who has made this whole trip possible, allowing me to go to each of these states stay in these states and experience this and then make these videos for you and that is ET Family Travel. They have booked out all of our hotel stays. They've told us kind of where to go and what to see. They've been absolutely incredible. So if you are thinking of traveling, they will do all of the leg lifting for you. And like an agent who helps with Medicare travel agents, it doesn't cost you to use them. They will book all of the things for you. And in fact, they found us some discounts. They found us some room credits. They found us some free upgrades. So it's been excellent working with them. If you are looking to travel, whether that's domestic or international, ET Family Travel is absolutely incredible. And they do specialize in Disney if you have any Disney plans. We got a siren going off in the back, but we're gonna carry on. Let's move over to the Advantage plan side of the conversation now. With Medicare Advantage plans, a big number that we look at is the maximum out of pocket. Within a given year, the insurance companies on Advantage plans have a maximum out of pocket, which you're familiar with with employer plans. They usually have that too, where once you meet this number, the insurance company takes care of 100% of the rest of the approved cost for the rest of the year, and this resets on January 1st. So the national average for maximum out of pockets is $5,000 for Advantage plan. Here in Virginia, you're really close to that. It's $4,900. So we'll call it, you're at the average there from an Advantage plan max out of pocket perspective. Again, this is an average. You will find some that are higher, some that are lower. Advantage plans, the general rule is that the more rural you are, so the less populated you are, the fewer options that you have from an Advantage plan perspective. And in many states, you don't have any options in certain counties that are very rural. Here in Virginia, in all of your counties, you have Advantage plans that are available to you. Some are as low as 12 plans available. Some are as high as 39 different plans available to you. So again, use an agent here to help you compare those plans. Make sure your doctors are in network. Make sure the facilities that you want to see are in network. We talked about the supplement plan penetration rate. Now let's talk about the Advantage plan penetration rate. Across the country, it is 50%. 50% of Americans who are qualifying for Medicare are going on Advantage plans. Here in Virginia, you're at 36%. You're one of the lower states when it comes to those who are choosing Advantage plans. Again, that's not me saying you should or shouldn't. It's just the numbers that we're seeing here. And you'll notice that the Advantage plan rate and the supplement plan penetration rates don't add up to 100%. That's because you have a lot of options here where people are maybe federal employees and they have FVHB, TRICARE for Life, VA benefits, where they're choosing other options with employer coverage. So that's why the numbers don't add up to 100%. When we talk about Advantage plans, we have to talk about being able to switch from an Advantage plan to a supplement plan. Now in Virginia, you have the same rules that apply nationally, and we'll talk about two trial rights. What that refers to is your ability to be on an Advantage plan, try it out, and then switch back to original Medicare and a Medicare supplement plan without medical underwriting. Medical underwriting is the big issue here. What that means is that if your health is poor, they can charge you higher than normal rates for your supplement plan or deny you completely. And that's the big rub here is because a lot of people wanna go on the Advantage plan because it's very low cost or $0 premiums. And then if their health starts to falter, they wanna to switch to a supplement plan for that coverage. Well, if they're outside their trial right or outside of a special election period, they can't. So trial right number one is if you go on Medicare at your 65th birthday, and you take an Advantage plan. If that's the case, then you have 12 months to try out that Advantage plan, and then you can switch back to Original Medicare and a Supplement plan within that 12-month window without medical underwriting. This only applies around your 65th birthday. Your Part A, your Part B, and your Advantage plan effective date all have to be the same date, which only happens around your birthday, because after your birthday, once you go on Medicare, they're going to backdate your Part A effective date six months or to your 65th birthday, whichever's closest. So let's say you signed up at 67. Well, your Part B effective date and your Advantage plan effective date are going to be at your 67th birthday, but your Part A effective date is now going to be at your 66 and a half kind of birthday-ish anniversary. So it's six months back and the dates aren't the same, so you don't have this trial right. So just something to keep in mind. The second trial right is at any age, when you take Medicare, if you choose a supplement plan first, you can switch off of that supplement plan, try an Advantage plan for 12 months, and within that 12 months, if you aren't happy with it, you can switch back to Original Medicare and your supplement plan 
without medical underwriting. So again, this is any age, but you're taking that supplement plan first, and you can only do this once. You can't switch back and forth between supplement and advantage when you're taking advantage of this trial right. The other way to switch from advantage to supplement plan without needing medical underwriting is if you have a special election period. Now those are coming, the most common is if you move. So you've moved outside of your advantage plan service area, and then you'd be able to jump back on original Medicare in a supplement plan, no medical underwriting, or you could get another advantage plan if you wanted, but moving is the big trigger there. Another common one is if an advantage plan, the insurance company offering it leaves the area. So they will have an advantage plan in a certain county and then sometimes they'll remove that. In that case, you'd be able to switch to original Medicare and a supplement plan without any medical underwriting or again to an advantage plan if you so choose. There are other special election period reasons, but those are kind of two very common ones. Outside of that, again, you can apply. So you can apply to switch from an advantage plan to a supplement plan, but you're going to go through that medical underwriting. So if you're healthy, you don't really have anything to worry about. If you have some health problems, then you would have some stuff to worry about in terms of higher costs or being denied. All right, at the end of my videos, I like to leave a secret keyword to make sure that you've made it this far because I get a lot of comments where people are saying things that are covered in the video and they just haven't made it that far. So if you leave a comment that has the secret keyword in it, then you and I are both going to know that you made it this far and I can take the comments a little bit more seriously. Now, when I think of Virginia, I think of George Washington. So if you can leave anything related to George Washington in the comments of this video, then I'll know that we've both made it this far. And uh, yeah, I think that that's a good, a good keyword for this one. Again, I do have partners who are licensed and familiar with the plans available to you here in Virginia. If you are looking for help, my email is in the description or you can go to theretirementnerds.com and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you for making it this far. I'm off to explore Virginia a little bit more with my family. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. It helps more than you know. And I will see you in the next video.